welcome back and welcome if you're new here. I have been so excited to do this video and very impatient to do this video. I recently watched Showgirls um, and I thought that uh, with today like the makeup that I'm going to be doing and like my nails and like my hair and everything I thought that Showgirls and the aesthetic of Showgirls would be much more interesting and fun because while I'm doing all this stuff, I can do commentary on the film because it's something else. <laughs> so, these are a huge deal. <laughs> I, these are like vintage acrylic nails, like fake acrylic nails. I, I got two of these, they're all like beat up. I don't even know when to date these. I mean, it says 2019 on here. I'm glad they still make these, but you don't see these in store anymore, all right? Like they don't have this 90s aesthetic to them in like early 2000s, which is what I'm going for. Had to get like a close up on these. See, I have like two nails on right now, but yeah. You do not see this anymore, that's for sure. They're like vintage. I, oh my God, just the shape of them and their, you know, their, uh, the square tip and everything. And like, you just don't see this pattern anymore on nails. So they're finally here and I finally got them and I'm going to put them on today. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna start and then I'm just gonna talk. So I have to <laughs> take these off first. So my nails are off and gross, very short, there's a reason why I wear nails. So I just do it at home, it's affordable and I can change up my style a lot uh, more frequently without, um, without having to pay the price for it. So I'm turn this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. This is actually a super therapeutic thing for me as well. Um, I know some people probably like going to the salon and getting their nails done and having someone do it for you, but I take great pride and pleasure in doing it myself. I think it's kind of like a meditation for me, um, this kind of ritualism behind it. So I'm gonna get started and we can start talking about the film. <laughs> Showgirls is my type of movie. At least that's what I thought when I went into it because it, it definitely surprised me. I knew I would like it because I like this kind of hyper vivid feminine story. I, I, I don't know why, but I really always watch movies with like a feminine uh, protagonist because uh, especially if the movie has some kind of uh, negative plot. Uh, where there's like a fall from grace or something like that. Um, because I find that whenever a female does something provocative or uh, completely insane, it's a lot more alluring because of the standards that women are held up to that we're supposed to be kind and loving and caring. And when we do the opposite, it's so much scarier uh, than when a man does it because uh, it seems to be portrayed as natural. For men to act in those ways but when women do it's like going against like the laws of nature which I find absolutely fascinating I started I started to watch this film and I swear to god within five minutes I was starting to regret my decision <laughs> first of all we all know that know me I don't know the girl that plays it, uh, she's from like Saved by the Bell or something like that and she is like a notoriously bad actress. In this movie, she is exceptionally a bad actress, except for the more sexual scenes, surprisingly. To me, some people thought that the sex scenes were insane and the one with uh, Kyle MacLachlan indeed was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Her acting is just so over the top, dramatic and ridiculous. And I was looking up the critiques of this film and they were basically saying that the director of the film 
had taken full responsibility for her shitty acting because he told her to act like that. First time with these. These are really long. Oh wow, I love it. My aunt used to wear nails like this and I was obsessed with it. But yeah, I'm gonna continue talking about the film when I'm done with my nails and I'm gonna do my makeup. So I'll show you when I'm done. My paradise. stunning okay so we are back and it is time to do a showgirls inspired makeup look I'm not going to be doing any makeup that's exactly from the film I'm just going to do makeup that uh, I was inspired to do, obviously. I'm going to finish the commentary on this film while I'm doing this. And I'm basically going to do what I do all the time. I'm going to do some crazy line work on my face. And then I'm going to add this. It's called Glam Rock. It's by Urban Decay. And it's just like a... sparkly eyeliner and then I'm gonna do a super simple lip nothing crazy so I'm just gonna start and do like a cat eye and then work my way around and do all other kinds of stuff I guess I'll just start by talking more about like the aesthetic of since my I just like I hate the word aesthetic because it's just so overused it started being paired with um, like Y2K aesthetics and now everybody that uses it just makes me cringe but when I use it I'm using it because there's really no other word. Alright so we got the cat eye going on um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swoop ah! <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna swoop it over um, to about like right here on both sides um, and then I'm going to elongate right by my uh, tear duct. Yeah, so this movie is really uh, artistically, I'd say like I'm drawn to movies that are like showgirls because of the uh, culture that they represent. Um, I think that like I find so much beauty in like dingy strip clubs and like the back rooms and like the lighting. Um, I can't talk and do makeup at the same time. If you can't tell, I have a hard time. Like the scene itself can like have a really dark undertone to it, but the it's uh, juxtaposed by like bright fuchsias and reds and like blinking lights and like this this feeling of like nightlife. Um, and there's also this mixture of um, just decadence and the idea of uh, stripping itself is a very decadent act, um, especially when, especially whenever things like that are looked down upon um, and it's being indulged in, especially in this movie, it's being indulged in by people who are like very wealthy and famous and it's a kind of like rogue thing for them to do, but like it's part of their lifestyle. Um, so I really liked that about the film. It's weird that like usually the main character is supposed to be the most captivating person in the film 
And what's crazy is that it's not. Crystal is the most captivating person. She's the one that actually is a good actress. Um, <laughs> and she doesn't take her role too seriously. There's something about her. She has like her smile and like overt like sexuality towards Nomi and just like the, I don't know, just how she dresses and like Versace and like um, her going out and drinking like champagne and doing coke in the middle of the day. It's just like only a certain, she can like uh, the way she says darling. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Um, she just does it so well because she's like a, she's supposed to be like a Texan and she moved to like Las Vegas and she's like now this big famous showgirl. I was totally just like bewitched by her character every time she did something. And I love that like, I know that there's like these little details in the movie that are just like, why is that in there? Like uh, the fact that Nomi does nails. It's just like, that's the reason why I did nails in this video and I waited for this, these nails to come in just to do this video to like complete the look all together. And I just love that there's like little insignificant details like that, like how she eats fast food and like she's on top of her friend's car in front of one of like the Vegas signs for a building. And like, it's just this like flickering light and she's eating like McDonald's. It's just like, I love that decadent lifestyle um, mixed with like this grunginess too. Basically that movie is just one of those movies where I will, I'm just gonna like play it in the background from now on because I really can't stand Nomi's acting. It's like unbearable at times. Also, I wanna know what it is about the 90s and 80s and freaking Kyle McLaughlin. McLaughlin? I, I really, I don't get it. Like. I'm trying to see why like women were so obsessed with him and I just don't see it. I don't see it at all. I don't find him attractive. He always looks like he's got something like wet on his upper lip. I extended and did like a little curl towards the tear duct and extended this upward here. Now I'm going to add a line beneath, like a little curly line beneath here um, and I'm gonna take a break from this real quick. It's important to take a break. I've talked about the aestheticism, I guess, but what I think a lot of people disliked about the film was like Nomi's character at the end beating the absolute life out of that asshole. And it was really random. <laughs> and so was like the, you know, the scene where her best friend gets sexually assaulted. That's a very light word for it, but I can't say the R word on here. That scene was really like random and so was like the the beating scene. But one, I loved the beating scene. I thought it was so badass, even though she looked like an absolute monster in it. I think the reason like why, I, I mean, it becomes pretty obvious like that they had to add in that sexual assault scene so that we could figure out what that girl's past, what Nomi's past was, and like see just how crazy she is. I know like before this happens, um, Kyle or whatever his name is in the movie, he ends up uh, finding out and telling her what she was and what her past was. But like the scene with that musician guy is like, like it really shows just how how dark of a character she is and how dark her past was by her behavior. So next I'm going to, I already did one, but I'm going to outline my eyebrows with this as well so that it's like a full, very dramatic look. And then I'm going to use this and outline underneath my eyes here and my eyebrows. And you know, it's the finishing touches.
full look. I had so much fun doing this. Thank you for doing it with me if you did it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And peace out.